Si inom si bokar medang ke, kayung kalau gang ulu bokar ga atau ayo si bermedang ite ayo. Si medang icung si lumbu lo ramo si itenak ke. Kalau ake na daniga awa si si gini bu itenak ke, bokar medang kayung icung hebela medang irup muda ro uyum gelo yubum go erug gelo. Dengeng ayam go, sapo ayam go, cesang go, gamang go, hebat itu nak. Nyuma ugula, nyum go, dorot dan robgela, kalau mitul ugula, mula itu nak. Like any other marriage ritual, Bokar people has their own way of celebration. It does share some common ritual practices of the nearby cousins like Tagin, Galo, Nishi, and Adi. Bokar marriage usually takes around nine days, excluding free marriage rituals of Uimonam. In Bokar marriage, the most important role played are by the mediators, which is known as Gingdo, of both the parties. They are interested with the duties of negotiating the differences and fixing of date for the marriage ceremony and the bride's price. But now most of the pharaoh doesn't emphasize the groom's parent to pay the bride's price. However, during all this, the bright price was mandatory. After the free marriage rituals for Pukumets of the Uimonam, including a real number of three days, the Ngunayim takes place, in which whole village gathered at the bride's house for discussion on further proceeding of the marriage romanization. On the second day of marriage romanizing process, Lokta Nanam happens. Loktananam is an event of Bokar marriage process where the brides inherited movable and immovable property and the gifts received from the villagers as a farewell gift are assessed. During all days, these gifts were berries of traditional items like tadok, fobje, utensils like ulu pachin, dangcheng and luder, and kettle like sabar, balang, temen garment. However, now people mostly prefer to give in forms of monetary due to its spreading tradition and culture in the region. On the third day of marriage, Nyamrung Nyampang with Sapo takes place. Sapo means gathering of the whole villagers at the bride's house to give bride a farewell party. Whereas Nyamrung Nyampang means the free rehearsal practice for the bride's reception day. Also where the brother's role known as Abariyam Tup takes place. Abariyam Tup plays a significant role in the married life of his sister and also it extends up to life of the dead. During the march procession towards the groom's house, an interesting ritual called Alet Ganam happens in which an Avalin tube has to protect the ornaments of the bride's sister. <laughs> After the blessing by the shaman, the chicken liver is examined and further conduct is met accordingly with the observation of Rogo Venom. <laughs> to bid a fruitful farewell to his sister, the Avalintu has to shoot four arrow of good wife, which is known as Lapum Opnam. For the very last time in the house, bride sister and the brother exchange the bowl of wine.
After completing the whole rituals for the day, the night ends with having dinner together. On the fourth day at the groom's house, the reception of rite is being prepared. This day is called the Nyamchang Alo and it is one of the most important day of the whole marriage process. From the very early morning, the preparation for the reception of rites and the guest is being met by preparing tamhi o, the millet wine and the shares of meat for every guest, known as lape. In Bokar marriage, one of the most essentials during the reception of guests and bride is the decoration of the gate, which is known as torbong. Torbong has their own significance. It is the rituals to decorate the gate with the medical creatures made out of bamboo. It has their own distinctive significance. While on the bride's house, the preparation for the furniture to groom's house is being met. Frights are dressed up by the elder woman of the house and acknowledge her about the life of their marriage. After examining the final chicken's liver by Rogu Penam, the life's second journey of sister as a bride begin. While marching, the elders chants a folk song called Chajinja, which is related with the marriage. After reaching halfway towards the groom's house, the bride ferret halt there to rest, and the groom's party received them with local foods and beverage. After having break for an hour, the march towards the groom's house continued. When the marching reached near the first gate, the sense of alertness among the parties are high because a ritual called Apen Piranam happens in which dominant party is sold to place an eatable item near the fireplace on the kitchen.
Whereas the guests are welcomed by sticking homemade ghee on their forehead and sharing the same cup of wine. When the bride reaches the house gate, the Alet Ganam rituals happen, where the groom's sister are invited to cut off the ornaments from the soldier of the bride as their choice. During these events, the role of the Avari Intub arises. Avari Intub has to protect the ornaments and escort his bright sister inside the house as soon as possible. After entering inside the house, brides untie the alet sea wall and hang on the hope refer by the groom's fern. The actual marriage ritual ceremony begins now by sticking he on the rongo. In Bukhar, sticking he is considered sacred. This act is called Yamar Japnam. In most of the ritual, the Yamar Japnam is done. Followed by the Pomte Burnam, where the millet flour and millet wine is sprinkled around the rumbo by the bride for the blessing of fertile femininity. Sacrifice of chicken to the rongo is mad. To invoke the marriage is spread to bless both bride and groom. Now groom is being prepared for the arrow shoot, which is known as La Pumotna. It is considered that if the arrow hit the center of the egg, the firstborn child will be a song. The first entry as a right of the house is done by sacrificing the chicken hang on the door of the house. Hence, the solemnization process for marriage is completed and both the parties are now lawfully wedded husband and wife. For the very first time, the husband and wife shares their first meal on the same plate. <laughs> Don't you go, Murdo, 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 Murdo